This video will walk you through how to add existing students to new or existing classes. If the students do not yet have an account, follow the steps located in the Import Students Rosters Adding New Students article. For steps on how to manually add students to classes, refer to the Open Learning Platform Class Management and connect to class management documents linked below. Once you have signed into your account, you may land on the My Connect Ed Programs page. To access the import page from Connect Ed, click on the Import Students Rosters button under the Teachers Tools on the right-hand side of the page. From the Open Learning Platform, click on the Import Students Rosters button at the top left of the page. If you are assigned to multiple organizations, you will need to select the organization you want the students assigned to from under your profile menu. First, we'll go over adding students to existing classes. From the Import Students Rosters page, click on the Preferred File option under Export Students. Remove all student rows on the file except for the ones you want to add to your classes. The Student Export contains all of the existing student accounts associated with the selected school. If you do not see your students listed on the file, follow the steps in the Import Students Rosters Adding New Students article to add them to the system. Also, from the Import Students Rosters page, click on the Preferred File option under Export Class List. The Class List export contains all of your existing classes, as well as any classes that have been shared with you by other teachers. From the Class List file, copy the Class GUID, Class ID, Class Name, Class Grade Level, Class Start Date, and Class End Date. Do not make changes to the Class GUID, as changes will prevent students from being assigned to the class. Paste the copied information into your student template in the appropriate columns. If the class ID is blank, you will need to enter one for each class. Keep in mind, every different class will need to have their own class ID. For example, Reveal Math Period 1 will have one class ID, and Reveal Math Period 2 will have a different class ID. If students need to be assigned to multiple products, such as a math class and a social studies class, Refer to the How to Assign Multiple Core Products to a Class article for options. If you are wanting to add students to new classes, you will want to review the next portion of the video. Otherwise, you will want to navigate to the Upload Template portion towards the end of the video. You also have the option to add students to new classes through the Import Upload. From your Student Import Template, enter a Class ID, Class Name, class grade level, class start date, class end date, and the master code. The class GUID will be created by the system automatically for new classes, so leave this blank. Keep in mind, every different class will need to have their own class ID. For example, Reveal Math Period 1 will have one class ID, and Reveal Math Period 2 will have a different class ID. If students need to be assigned to multiple products, such as a math class and a social studies class, refer to the How to Assign Multiple Core Products to a Class article for options. The master code is provided by your organization administrator. You will need to add the Student Edition Master Code to the Master Code column for students that have access to their class. Refer to Import Students Rosters template instructions for a detailed explanation of each field. Finally, we'll go over the upload process. Once your template file is complete, Save it in a location on your device that is easy to locate, such as your desktop. On the Import Students Rosters page, click the Choose File button and select the completed copy of the template from your computer. Click the Upload button. The page will automatically navigate to the Upload History page. Depending on how large the file is, time will vary on the upload process. The status of your import will reflect its current stage of processing. Queued means that the import will be processed as soon as possible but has not started yet. In progress means that the import has started processing. Completed means that the import completed successfully. Completed with errors means that a portion of the import was unable to be processed. Failed means that none of the import was processed. To check the status of your import, click the refresh button at the top left. Once the file has finished processing, you can click the Actions icon to download the uploaded file, completed file, and error file. The uploaded file is the exact file that you uploaded, minus account passwords if you included those on your original file. It's available so that you can access it later if needed. The completed file is a summary of all student and class information that was processed. 
The error file is a summary of the students and or classes that did not process successfully. It shows the rows that triggered the error and the specific reason why these rows failed in the error column on the far right. Refer to the Import Students Rosters Errors and Resolution Steps document for details on each error received and how to resolve them. For additional resources on the import process, refer to the Import Students Rosters Resources article listed below. This concludes our look at adding existing students to new or existing classes. Be sure to look at the available help materials for more information about using your open learning and connect ed programs.